and we love again Hive on Hive, because we could have it. Welcome, 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 welcome again. Welcome. That's four welcomes. The fifth, five, five, at least five welcomes. Five welcomes for today. Uh, for today's live stream, which is. Uh, what is it today? Well, today is August 29th, Tuesday, August 29th, 2017, and we're gonna play some more Star Drop. And, um, if you don't know Star Drop, if you don't know Star Drop, then I, I have to tell you that it won the best 3D graphics at the Intel Level Up contest last week. So, yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing about it. Another thing about it is that it's a narrative-driven sci-fi first-person adventure game uh, that's uh, in early access right now. And it's about it's about this team um, um, made up of two people, uh, Aaron and John, who go around the galaxy and try to, well, salvage and rescue various ships. And um, one of the ships that you're going to... Well, salvage and rescue is the star drop. Star drop, the star drop being like a, an experimental, I don't know, like a scientific vessel that was long lost years and years, eons ago, let's say, let's say eons ago. And, um, you have to find it and see what happened to it. It's kind of like an event horizon thing. If you remember the, the movie event horizon, it was a pretty freaky movie. Not the best one, but I really like the idea and I, I kind of uh, feel a little bit of um, Event Horizon in Star Drop. Not so much of the horror part, but uh, of the um, exploration and long lost, you know, uh, mysterious ship part. Now, uh, uh, Star Drop just got an update last week. Um, actually, I think last Tuesday uh, that added uh, a new chapter to the single player campaign. The game is only single player, by the way, and uh, being in early access, of course, you know, there's more content that needs to be added. Initially, it had some missions, of course, um, in the campaign. To, it had two chapters, actually, of the campaign, and then it had some solo missions, and now the third chapter was added, and we're gonna play that, and hopefully it's gonna be... It's gonna be great. Hopefully it's gonna be great and awesome. We're gonna discover aliens and demons and... Probably not demons. Probably have some androids that we're gonna fight. Now, um, if you're interested in Star drop um it's a pretty good time to get it because until august 21st uh 31st so uh, until the, the end of the month it's 17% uh, off so you can get it for uh, 9.95 so that's pretty much just 10 dollars or euro down from uh, um, 12 dollars or euro uh, that's the base price tag. So let's go right in and select the chapter. Uh, if you want to see uh, the first two chapters of the game and also one of the um, single missions, I think. I think I played at least one single mission. Uh, then check out the previous license that I did on Star Drop. Right now I'm gonna focus on chapter 3, which is the actual Star Drop. The ship that we've been looking for. And um, the ship that's been lost for, I think it's well, like, like 70 years or something. I don't specifically remember, but let's see. Aaron? We're almost there. Aaron, that's me. I, you play Aaron. We're almost there. By the way, Startup is uh, developed using Unreal Engine. So it looks pretty, pretty good. When I say pretty good, pretty good. Really shiny. Maybe too shiny sometimes, but... So this is our vessel and then the big ship, that's the Star Drop. Uh, nobody knows what happened to it. It just disappeared while on a on a mission. I I think. And it looks so peaceful. Probably everyone's dead on it, but yeah, you know, that that's usually what happens with ships that go missing. Everyone's dead. You know, it looks pretty good. I like this design. It's 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 like a it's an intergalactic shoe of some sort. Maybe not a shoe. I'm kidding. It's just a ship. Okay. All right. We're in the mission. Finally. This is it. Hope you're ready. Yep. As ready. ready as I'll ever be. Okay, Aaron. You'll have to use your suit's zero g propulsion system to get on board. There's too much debris out there for me to safely dock the MCCV. Roger All right. That. So we need to go. There. We also have a data pad here which you, where we can see, you know, um, things that we picked up, uh, the map and objectives. 
Just keep going until you reach the airlock. I'll be able to help if you run into any problems, okay? So now it's all zero G. Okay, now it's gonna open and we are going to go to the actual ship. Very blocky this ship. Drop you off in front of the main airlock. It's just a few hundred yards away, but you shouldn't have any I, issues getting there. I see it, I see All it. Right. Sounds good to me. Let's use our... Uh, I think we have some propor propulsion? Propulsion? Hello! How are you doing? Hello! So we can move faster to space? Well, 7.27 miles per hour is fast. That's not that fast in space. Man, just that's actually, that's look very at cool. this. I can't believe we're actually here. Well, she looks awesome, but she's a mess. I'm still running preliminary scans, but much like the SD-01, it seems the ship's running on backup power. However, the overall power output is not consistent. Some decks have much higher output than others. I am also not able to detect any life signs. I am detecting yeah, movement, though. I suspect some of the maintenance androids are still in operation. Maintenance, security androids. Well, this is certainly a different situation than the SD-01. I advise you take extra precautions and stay alert out there. Thanks. Yeah, I should have I'm a gun. Mind. I should have a gun if I'm going to explore, you know, ships that... John, look at this. I know. The ship actually has a working force field. Wow. I did not expect that. I'll well. scan the immediate vicinity that you're in. Oh great, I get the elevator music. This guy. There should be two control panels located on both sides of the entrance. If I'm okay. not mistaken, all yeah, I see them. do is match the frequency of both of the panels. This should power down the force field. Oh, right. Okay. I'll go take let's, a look. Let's go. Everything here is like from Victor Industries. Okay, you can check the data pad uh, if you want to see what you have to do. Uh, rather complicated frequency lock button on both panels on the right should shut down the force field. Okay, it's 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 fairly easy task. So we're gonna go like this, and when the frequency lock button is activated, we click it. Okay, that's one. That is one. And now let's do it to this one. Cause I need to get rid of this uh, force field. Whoa. Let's get a little closer. Alright. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Done! And there we go. Copy Let's that. go! Nice. So no life signs, huh? Nope. How Everyone's does that dead. Relate to Hamada supposedly being on board then? Well, it seems some of the areas are shielded off from being scanned at all. This normally applies to military ships only. Not to mention how old the star drop is. That kind of tech was fairly new back then, and certainly mm. not as sophisticated. Yeah, well, here we are. Old ship, but, Indeed, it, it, but she yeah, still looks pretty good. Why I can't detect him? Okay, let's go in. No more, no more screwing around. Let's actually go in. See what's going on. Airlock closed, and we should get some gravity up in here. Hopefully, yes. Gravity? No gravity? I'm inside no the gravity. airlock, but it seems the artificial gravity generator is offline. Alright. I mean, still, still no gravity. To be gravity in here, right? Well, that's right, but as I mentioned before, my ship's a mess right now. There's power fluctuating across certain areas. Stick okay. alert, you hear me? Don't worry. He's worried about me because he's in love with me. I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright, so here is the well, there's another force field blocking the elevator. Main lobby. Okay. I think there are two security panels located in the somewhere. Just keep it up and don't forget to use your object scan. John, you're breaking up. I'll yeah, look around and see good. what I can find. Okay. Yes, I got it. Interference. 
All right, so okay, so these here, see, see this little uh, panel here? This is where you can save your um, your progress. And I'm going to do that now. Saved. And let's see, so I need a code here. What's this? 0352. Okay. Oops. That's very close. Zero. Three, five, two. All get rejected. No, not this one. Wait. Ah, maybe it's for the other one. It's for the other panel. So zero, three, five, two. Okay, let's go. Oops. Maybe it's for the other panel. And then it's there's another one. Okay, so this is zero, three, five, three, and that's zero, uh, five. Uh, zero three five two so this one is zero three five two nice oh hello airlock or whatever you are whoa let's go down easy 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 okay uh user gail harland that's not my name all right another one of these oh one down one down and I need to open another airlock. Okay, so it's zero three five three. Let's go quickly because I need to open this thing to actually get inside the ship. Come on. Come on. Stop. Uh zero three five three. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Whoa. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. Whoa, too much. Uh, 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 uh. Closer, closer, closer. That's good. All right, let's open it. Yes. Ah, there we are. Nice. Hey, John. Okay. I disabled the force field. It was pretty tricky, but I'm heading up now. It wasn't tricky at all. Aaron, it, it's hard to make out what you're saying. I'm getting the stack. Are you on it back? I don't really want to head back since I'm here. Alright. Okay, let's 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 He's worried about us, what can I say? He's worried. I don't know why he doesn't come with me like on, on these missions. It's like I'm always alone. Locked? John! What? The door panel's locked. I can't get out. I, I I think I'll head up to the elevator. Hopefully the reception's better there. Okay, here's something when you're there. All right, just it's fine. I'm just trapped in this creepy ship. Nothing to worry about. It's not like it has aliens. Like, nah, probably not. Probably no xenomorphs anywhere. You see any 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 ventilation like shaft? That's destroyed and dripping with uh, green acid goo. No, uh -huh. that's good. Okay, so we're gonna take the elevator to deck two. All right, so we can't communicate with John. Uh, so I guess we'll have to find some way of communicating with him. Ah, John, gravity. I'm at the main lobby. See, we can't talk to him. What? No, 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 no. John, come in. Do you read me? She's John? so panicky. He's... Okay. He's not answering. Well, he is can't hear you, good. obviously. Big ship. All alone. No, no gun. Communications. No gun. No weapons. That's bad. Okay, Aaron. Keep calm. He's still out there. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's still out there. This okay. is an automated service announcement. Okay. Dear visitor, welcome aboard the Star Drum. Oh, let me Unfortunately, see. Unfortunately, we are not able to verify your identity. You are required to register yourself at the administration's office immediately. Thank you. All right. First of all, let's see what's in here. I guess I can head over to the administration's office and take a look there. So, SD-01 mission debriefing. Okay, so SD-01 was a smaller ship that we explored in uh, in the second chapter. It was basically the um, 
the landing ship of of the star drop so you know when when a team wanted to go on a planet then they used uh, you know and the, that team was on the star drop they used the sd1 to you know go down the planet uh, person, all personnel from the away team are required to report at administration's office immediately. Let's see, main lobby, administration, security, access to main airlock, bridge, alpha labs, and offices. Startup, science, and exploration. Am I crouched? Oh yeah, I'm crouched. Uh, really shiny as you can see. Star drink, energy drink. What's your favorite? Flava? I don't want Flava. I don't want Buddy La La Lonier. What the hell is that? Wait, let's zoom. Buddy Lightyear. No, no, no. Bud Light. I don't want any. Nah. Do I have a freaking Coke? Retron One. Out of order. Check back with me tomorrow. <laughs> That's pretty cute. What the heck is this? Can I drink this? Uh, I guess I can't. Alright. Okay. Anything around here? Nothing. Bridge and... Oh, so we can't go on the bridge. See, it's all closed. It's all red and closed. So let's go to the... Oh, administration. Here. Okay. That's what I want it to be. Administration, personnel registration, accounting, human relations, human relations, not human resources, interesting. And personal records by appointment only. Oh, look at the lovely art. Are these boxes? Huh. They're lockers. I don't think I can. Nope. Doesn't seem. They don't seem to work. Some artwork, I guess? All right. Okay. No connection. What's this? Uh, can't. Okay, wait. So let me zoom. So, uh, SD01 mission report. The SD01 just docked with the star drop after Andrew Collins issued a recall, canceling the mission. The mission of the SD01. Selena Archer and the rest of the crew are now back on board and are preparing the full analysis regarding the nature of the recall. From our initial investigation, it seems that several crew members on board the SD-01 uh, have reported a number of anomalies. They were seeing things. Not only is the startup experiencing disruptions and other anomalies, it seems the SD-01 has also been affected somehow. It remains unclear, however, if these disruptions are related or not. As it stands, I will, I will have to run an evaluation on each member from the away team and write up a full report based on my findings. I have already issued a formal request to each party member and released a general statement. I expect to have interviewed them all by the end of the week. An investigation will be conducted with Colin Weld from security and Miranda Hirsch and her medical staff. Based upon our findings, we will be able to establish a proper psychological evaluation. I will also coordinate a thorough investigation regarding both ships' internal systems with the engineering team and run a deep analysis on the computer system, central networks, and of course the mainframes. I will keep in close contact with Captain Selena Archer during the investigations and inform her if anything important pops up. For now, this is my initial report on the matter. Merrill Collins. Uh, uh, 28th of, of um, April 2097 okay 2097 okay okay uh, elevator a labs and bridge well I can't go to the bridge hmm Security. What the hell? What's wrong here? Oh, it's not working. Huh. It's kind of weird. Alright. Okay, it seems this is the only keypad that's working. Maybe I can find a code for it. Offices. Okay, let's save here first. Since I'm here, let's save. User unknown. 
No, it's it's player unknown. Okay. So let's try to find a key, but I haven't seen anything that would actually have the key. You know what? Actually, I may have found a bug. I may have found a bug. Maybe, maybe. You know why? Because I do recall there being some things around here, some data pads that I could pick up. Wait, something's off. No. Not this. Wait. Hey, Meryl, check it out. Michael has placed a bunch of retro arcades. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, I, I, I found a bug. So, uh, I played some, like, a little bit of the, this mission before this live stream. And, you know, just to kind of prepare a little bit to, to check it out. And now that I played chapter 3 again, the game remembers the save, like, like, or, at least, or at least some parts of my ple previous play, and all of the things that I found are nowhere to be found right now. I, I have them in my log, but I technically didn't find them in this playthrough, so that's a bug. That is a bug. Uh, just confirm. So this thing right here, this log over here, this is something that I, I should have found on one of the tables in here. And I found it in a previous play. Not when I, because I technically I started chapter 3 again. But for some reason there's a bug in the game and with the saves and apparently it doesn't work. But anyway, that's, that's, it won't happen too long, but. Okay, so. Keep in mind that all of these logs I was supposed to find. And I did find, just not in this freaking uh, play, which is really weird. Uh, let's see. Signing off. Okay, alright, so they, um, this is from Marlon Douglas with double S's apparently. Hey Colin, we need to have a chat with Gail Harland when you get back. I'm not sure what he's been up to, but several keypads located in the main lobby have had their security codes altered without any clearance. I tracked the changes that have been issued back to Gail's terminal. The codes to the elevators are the same now too. The new codes are 4336. So that's the code for the elevator. And again, this one, this thing, I should have found around here. Uh, but it's a bug. Early access, so... But, you know... And it's it's kind of a weird bug. I guess it just doesn't um, doesn't uh, restore like the logs to the previous state, but doesn't reset them. Okay, four, three, three, six. There we go. Right. Progress. Yes, exactly. Let's go to the. Actually, we're going down to deck one. So we went up to deck two. And now we're going to the one. Okay. Ah. Let's explore the labs then. All right. So this is lounge, greenhouse. I'm talking an awful lot to myself right now. Well, you're alone, so that's kind of what happens. This is an automated service announcement. Dear visitor, this is an unrestricted area. Please head back and register at the administration's office immediately to obtain proper clearance for this section. The automated security system will be engaged shortly if you fail to comply. Thank yeah, you. so basically, okay, John, what I think... I could really use your help right now. Yeah, I think what, what will happen is because I'm not registered, the, the security droids will be, androids will be activated. So, that's kind of crap, but elevator, office, greenhouse... Hmm, what else do we have here? Elevator offices, main storage. And I think... I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, advanced R&D and elevator. Man, so I need to get... locked down. Yeah. See, I can't get through here. Uh, the botany research, this needs a code. And the security office is pretty much empty. Well, at least I can save here. Okay. 
okay. And you can see security status is okay for now. And this, I can check the inbox for more on Douglas Jonathan. I need you to keep an eye out regarding odd behavior from within the ship's computer network, huh? Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we've been experiencing a large number of security changes regarding keypads and person uh, personnel systems. If you spot anything unusual, please report back to me. Alright. Okay. So what I need to do now... I can't go there. Let me check the logs that I found previously. Okay. So we have a crew report. Uh, then we have... Crew report, Jonathan and the... Uh, well, this sucks. After running 17 different programs, I have determined that NX7 isn't a virus, spider way, a Trojan whore, the Trojan, or a worm. Quite frankly, I don't know what it is. Line. No. I've guaranteed a program. I've quarantined a program until I can hack my way inside of the application and figure out what the hexadecimal it is. Alright. Uh, Gail Harland, okay, this guy, this guy, who's altering all the codes. Thanks for contacting and alerting me to the change key code. I'm not sure what's going on, but a large number of codes have been changed all throughout the ship. Maybe that virus has something to do with it. Including keypads, security interfaces, and computer terminals. I've been busy all day trying to track down what has been altered and restoring the original codes. With Colin Weld currently away for the ground mission, I have to wait until he's back in order for me to start a proper investigation. For now, I changed back the key by code leading to the exhibition and the greenhouse elevator. Just make sure the uh, just to make sure the key code is nine five one one. I hope you guys haven't ran into any trouble down there. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. So it's nine five one one. Oops, sorry. Oops, return. So it's nine five one one. And again, that one of the I have I I should have found these logs around. Just there's a bug. It's fine. It that should be it. So let's go all the way back, and it's nine five one one. Let's go back to the botany thing, because I don't think this is where the see this one's closed. Oh, it's not closed. Oh yeah, it's not closed. Yeah, this one's not closed. Right. This one's not closed, but it was. The thing is that you, I was supposed to find a lo uh, a log in here that tell me, told me the codes. You know, like right next to it there was a, a tablet. It just it's missing now. It's it's really weird. I I guess the game just did, doesn't reset the logs for some reason. Which is kind of weird, because, you know, it's a new place. Okay. Alright, so, here we are. We need to go... Uh, really nice plants. Can I... Oh. Why can't I... Why can't I move further here? That's odd. That's really odd. This leads to the greenhouse, but it's locked. Wait, wait, I know the code. I guess Nine... I can try to find the passcode. Yes, I know the passcode. 9511. There well, we are. There we go. Yep. And the security doors will probably be activated because I'm not supposed to be here. Probably. What's this? Storage area network. S A N. SAN. Huh. So this is the greenhouse. It kind of looks like. Maybe they were, they, they not, didn't have only plants? Huh. These plants are all incredibly well preserved. Yeah, I guess the androids are, yeah. are still maintaining the ship. I guess. I'm sure I'll find something odd. Like in one of these uh, chambers. Uh, Alright, I'm not really sure where to go. Well, let's go here first. Let's uh, let's look around. Around the world, around the world. No, nothing here. Engaged. Huh. Oh, this is new? Oh, no, it's just now a calculator. Now that's old school. 
It is very old school. Uh, I thought I could use that, but no, it's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. Come on, there must be something here. Nothing. Nothing inside here. Come on, nothing really. Okay, this is Tuya Ox Occidentalis. Tuya Occidentalis, also known as Northern White uh, Cedar or Eastern Ar Arborvitae, uh, is an evergreen um, coniferous tree in the Cypress family. Okay, whatever. Uh, which is native to Eastern Canada. Okay, okay. That's really nice. Can I activate anything here? Nope. This place is pretty empty. I kinda wish I could interact with more stuff. Okay, let's save first. Good. Security status. Active. Uh, I guess this is where they grow the veggies. Uh, oh yeah, it's cabbage, I guess. Cabbage? Is this like... Um, are those uh, tomatoes, maybe? Oh, here we are. Wait, what's this? Uh, I need to zoom in. Uh, startup. Okay, expedition report. Bottom so research. Life on one of the planets. That's insane. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. A way team was able to touch down on um, Pororia 7. After six months of extensive research determining the biological makeup of the planet, the team was able to safely explore the surface. This has led to the discovery of several new and unknown species of plant life, including the Boliv st st Stellaris and the Rosa per Peruta. Mm. No accidents occurred during the duration of the mission. So this is Boston Research 2... Five four four. Wait, let me let me. I maybe I need to write this down. Two five four four. All right. Two five four four. Yes. All right. That's pretty cool. And and get this. This is from twenty ninety six. Okay. Maybe maybe they found something else. Maybe those plant those plants. Uh, I don't know. Um, infested the people. They gave us some weird pheromones and, you know, they got infected and they all went insane in the membrane and they started killing each other and we're going to floor the, the next floor. Floor 3 actually, deck 3. I've never been there before so... There's probably going to be androids here. Of course there are. Who's there? What the? Hello android. Are you, are you talking to me? Aaron? What? Aaron Vance? What? Why would you know my uh, yes. name? How did you... No. Oh no. This can't be real. Ido? Ido Hamada? That seems nah, to be come. the case. What? Thank you for coming. You have no idea how much this... I'm sorry to interrupt you, Ido, but I'm just a tiny little bit very much confused right now. Yeah, why are you an what android? What happened to you? I... I don't remember. Ido Hamada was a How researcher? How in God's name did you end up on the star drop? I'm sorry, Aaron. I... I honestly don't know. There are so many things that I can't seem to remember. You do realize what do you remember? that you're not even supposed to be here, right? Yes, I do realize that, but I couldn't tell you how I ended up here in this greenhouse. Sitting under this tree trapped inside this broken down android body. So, what do you remember then? Do you remember? I remember waking up when you boarded the SD01. When you entered the bridge, I was able to directly contact you. His face is silver, yes, he's an android. Waiting for you ever since. Other than that, I don't remember much at all. Except for my name and who I'm supposed to be. Huh. Well, I didn't know what to expect when I got your message. I guess I'll have to wait before anything will start to make sense. So, yeah. I'm here to help. What's the objective? All I know is what's stored on this data pad. Our main objective is to reset the mainframe. Okay. okay. So, how do we do that? Our first priority is to restart the two reactor cores, which in turn will reset the entire ship. After that, uh, we'll course. have to head over to the mainframe and reboot it. Right now, every section is blocked off from each other. 
Rebooting the mainframe should reset the security locks and everything should be fine. And you'll get your memory back. Should yes. be fine. I should be able to answer all of your questions. Believe me, I have a lot of them myself. Okay then. Alright, Android. Well, Mr. Hamada, it's nice to finally meet you. Likewise, Miss Aaron Vance. He's and dead. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. Okay, That's first of all, let's look around. Uh, quick question. How are you gonna follow me? Oh yes, I almost forgot. There's an instant messaging system that the crew use to interact with each other. Since I'm just interfacing with this android, I can simply upload the program to your suit, and I'll be able to follow you around that way. Hold on. What? Huh? Installing InstaChat. Oh look, he's installing InstaChat. He wants to send me dick pics, but he doesn't have any because well, he's an android. Hi, Ido. Welcome aboard the SS Aaron Vance. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. funny. I'll guide you from here on. I guess we can go down to the labs. We need to head towards the office section. Wait, All right. Second. Let's, look around. Let's go then. So this looks pretty nice. I really like the, I, you know, I really like the change in visuals here. I mean, this is supposed to be a greenhouse, so I really like that it's, you know, green and has more plants and everything. Compared to all the mm, shiny, shiny metal. Okay, there's a lot of shiny metal still here, but it's it's a little bit different, uh, and I well, it's it's different. It's not a little bit. It's quite different, and I like it. I like the change in in scenery. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I find any data pads around. If not. Me and uh, my stowaway android. We're gonna go back, I guess. Hmm. I guess there's nothing else here to find. I'll just have to get a data pad. And we'll just go back. Okay. Okay, got it. Danger, high voltage. Let's see what the data pad said. Alright, Ido, uh, send out the SD-1 as far as it'll go. Once it's found, the sensors on board will reactivate you. Oh, you'll be given a direct link to whoever is on board, but they have to be inside the bridge for you to communicate. It, if uh, help does arrive, uh, then your main objectives are restart the two reactor cores, then reboot the mainframe. So this is the captain of the star drop, right, uh, Selena Archer, giving orders to Ido, which he's not supposed to be here, so that's kind of weird, uh, he's not supposed to be on the star drop, but okay, this will initiate a complete reset, after that you'll be able to execute your plan, Ex execute, execute your plan, okay, he's gonna execute, 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 sorry, sorry, I just, I mean, you have to make fun of typos. It happens. It's fine. Typos happen. Execute. Hey, Eden. All right. I forgot to mention, there's another problem. What's, What's the problem? That? My partner, John, is still out there and we lost radio contact. Do you know if there's any way we can reach him? I'm sorry, Aaron. I have no idea. We should be able to get in touch with him when we reach the bridge. Okay. Thanks. This oh, is no. an automated service announcement. And will tell us that the you have exactly. our warnings and the security systems have been engaged. Right. Security officers will arrive shortly to accommodate you to the nearest holding facility. Yeah, Thank whatever. You. Oh, that's just great. Not to worry. Uh, the security system like, should be pretty much identical to the one you experienced in the SD0. Yeah, they're just some droids, but they're annoying. Don't stand too long in their field of view. Mm. Okay, so where are we supposed to go exactly? That's the question. Uh, head, heading up the elevator. Okay. Okay. Elevator lobby. Let's go. Okay, maybe there's no one here. Like in terms, when I say no one, I mean in terms of. Uh, Actual uh, androids. There's just some cameras, maybe. 
I think I need to go to the next deck. I'm not really sure. Uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see now that we got back here. Uh, elevator bridge. I think I'm supposed to be here. I'm not really sure. Uh, this is closed off. Okay, so let me see because I, I I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do. So, all right, restart the two main reactor cores, reboot the mainframe. How the fuck do I find the reactor cores? That is the question. Are they all the way back where I came from? Or are they somewhere else? That is the question. Uh, main airlock. Okay, so it's not here. I can't go back. So that's not it. Hmm. That's not it. Where the air... Wait. So, uh, the reactor cores. Where are the reactor cores? Main. Uh, so it doesn't say anything there. So there are no reactor cores around here. Uh, all right. So I guess we'll go back to where we came from. Hmm. Offices. Can't go here. High voltage equipment. This is closed. So, right, let's go back then. Let's go back and. I'm not really sure. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll find, we'll find our way. Find our way. It's a pretty big ship, that thing. Alright. Okay. Uh, botany security. But where the fudge? See, this is not helping. The this thing is not helping. Uh, the okay. Restart the two reactor cores. Well, what the fudge is the reactor core? React lounge exhibition main storage reactor cores. Like which one is like which one goes like freaking reactor cores. Kind of silly that uh, uh, let's, let's not get caught by the by the cameras. Uh, main storage? Not there. I don't think I have to go there. Yeah. Oh no! I've been here. I've been here, this is not here. Not here! Not here! Come on. Okay, Aaron, turn here. We need to head to the office. Oh, gotcha. Right. I hope you don't mind, but I can send you messages to your data. Ah, oh, nuts. I forgot the elevator's locked down. Oh, hold on. So, can you open this? Wow! Nice! It looks like I can interface with the section of the ship we're in. So, yeah. Where my superpowers, I guess. <laughs> huh. Nice. That'll come in handy. I have my limitations, but I'll do whatever I can. Alright, let's go up. So, two reactor cores. Let's see what we get out uh, now. So, this is the office section. That's right. You can snoop around a bit if you want, but I gotta press for time. I'll keep that in mind. Well, of course I'm snoop around. Wow, look at that. Look how nice it is. Lobby. Cut. Uh, wait. Wait, wait. Did he just close the thing here? Oh, well, I can't go inside the lobby. Huh. Alright. Wait. Med Bay Engineering Alpha Labs Main Lobby. Alright. Offices. 
Is there any? Hmm. The cubicle section is blocked off. Maybe later oh. on we'll get a chance to look around. Why later on? Why not now? So, come on, open the door. Come on. Aaron, I was just wondering about you and John. Yeah, yes. we're together. We're an item. You guys work closely together. John's Very my boy. close. He looks out for me and handles the more technical aspects. Hmm. Right. Are you two together? Obviously. Together? As in a relationship? Yeah. Me and John? That's cute. I care for him, but I think we both know it'd be wrong. It would mess up our whole dynamic. What? Nah. We're both owners, I guess. Wow, she friends on him. That actually makes a lot of sense. Good on you two. She totally friends on him. So, Poor Tito, John. How about you? Do you... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he's so dead. Sorry. Technically, right? It's okay. I have... Had... A wife and daughter. But I... I can't remember anything about them. No memories or anything. Just a fleeting feeling of them. I... Okay, let's change topic. Why did you become a pioneer? I mean, it must have been incredibly exciting. Being at the forefront of space exploration, right? Huh. <laughs> well, I obviously can't remember any details, but I know I wanted to bring back the wonder to the people of Earth, you know? We've been growing ever more cynical as a human race, trying to turn everything into numbers and data, into equations, as if we're nothing special, as if life is nothing special. Just, a... Just an accident. Exactly. That's kind of why I do what I do as well. Um, can you elaborate on that? Like, cause that did not sound like logical, like a logical reply. That's weird. So, what the... Ooh, some paper that we can check out. Let's see what's here. Oh, debriefing. The initial analysis has come in and there's quite a cause for alarm. Ooh, the program has been determined embedded, has been detected embedded deep within the network called NX7. There's no trace of its origins, nor have we been able to determine what the program does. All that has been discovered so far is that it disrupts a number of systems on board. It bypassed every single security protocol. We have declared an official state of emergency because NX-7 has also, has also been detected on board the star drop itself. Chief of Security Colin Weld will be leading primary investigations. So they had a virus or something? Um, he will be assisted by Chief Engineer uh, Jake Letzik. Uh, to help uh, in with the technical aspect as well as Jonathan Andy who has found and reported the program. Obviously, we have no clear way of going forward. So far, the technical glitches, malfunctions and breakdowns have been minimal. There is no clear goal as to what NX7 actually does, nor do we know who has written it. Going forward, we will evaluate our options and with... With? Huh? With a heavy heart will decide if we shall head back to Earth, cutting short our research programs, rendering a huge amount of long-term research data useless. For now, everyone is to head back to the stations and resume their work as normal. Okay. So this virus was the big issue. It's this program that they didn't know what, you know, was just messing with everything, but they didn't exactly know what... Uh... Same thing? Uh, yeah, it's same thing. I just want to check, make sure there's nothing uh, else, like, you know, maybe people wrote something. Okay. Alright, so the, pro the problem was with the program. Hmm. Power grid, oh, here! Authorize... Um... Oh, it's another lock thing. Alright. Hi, Tomato. Hello. Mainframe control access. Medical staff only, right? Right. We're, I'm medical staff. Okay, saved. And 
Where am I supposed to go? Oh! Engineering, really? Wait, 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 wait. So I... Use this one. Huh. Okay. So I guess we go to down to engineering. It's a quite linear star drop. It's not, you know, not exactly open world. I have a donut. Congratulations. Enjoy. Enjoy the donut. Donuts are pretty good. I like donuts. Whoa, what happened here? What the hell happened here? All right, Aaron. We're close to the second reactor core. Now all we gotta do is... John. He's looking for me. Oh, look, I think he's ship. trying to get a visual on me. He must be really worried. Yeah. Oh, of course he is. He doesn't show it much, but he does care. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we should get the reactor core online. Once yeah, we just chillax it. Course, we can reset the mainframe and head to the bridge and make contact with your partner. Okay. okay. Let's do this. Wait, wait. Okay, so there's only... Train later ...to reach the cargo area. The other core is near there. Got it. Hmm. <laughs> Waiting for the defrost so the chocolate does, uh, doesn't fall off. Hmm. It's a frozen donut? What am I doing? Wait. Come on, open. Oh, you hear that? That is a android. And I'm probably, sh I'm sure he's going to be a security droid. Right? Right, I'm sure of it. Now, let me save here. Bye, tomato. Bye, thanks for coming. Enjoy your donut. Alright. See, there's one guy one uh, going. So what can we do here? Override manual controls for Android 3. Oh, nice! I can take over control of the Android? Well, that's cool. This feels clumsy. No, sorry, I can't help you, but these guys aren't linked to the network. They have a direct connection huh. to the console. It's okay. So where am I heading? So, yeah, exactly. I'm checking out some of the nodes in the network. Seems we'll have to get to the control room in order to unlock the door to the service elevator. Okay, I'll take a look. Okay, so where are we going exactly? Wait, I don't have a map right now. Huh, it's pretty cool that you control a droid. An android, sorry. Not exactly the same thing. But what am I supposed to do exactly? Manual control active. Okay. These guys can't run. They're not very useful on that regard. They're not well they're they're not made to run, I guess. Hmm. Uh security station, reactor. Okay, security station, I guess. No? No, it's closed. Never mind. So I just have to go to the reactor. Maybe I can activate that. If I activate one reactor, then I can go to the other one, maybe? Maybe that's how it's supposed to be done. Is this a data pad here? Huh. Can't get that one. Hmm. Hello, hello. I'm come back. Wait, wait, wait. Come back, who? Come back, baby, come back, baby, come back. Control room, generator room, generator room, right? Force field is active. The control room door seems to be locked down as well. Yep. Everything is closed! Check the generator room. Alright, well it's the only one that's open, I guess. Okay, Aaron, I don't exactly know what to do here. Well, um, my guess is press that the buttons? whole system is messed up. Probably from the decades of negligence. I think if I restore power to the generators, the system will get reset. Hmm. 
and I'll lose sure. manual control and then these guys will be patrolling and I have to sneak uh, in order to get here I think engage haha there we go and I'm gonna lose control what? no I lost connection to the Android I knew it I knew it uh, I think I remember you pencil just agreed it's like I'm pretty sure I the name seems familiar, so yes. Wait, do these guys want to attack me? Let me see what happens, wait. Well, the security office is still locked. Well, of course it is. The control room, then. My English level are 99. Uh, wait, one second, let me just find this. And this, tell me a code, come on. Be nice, tell me a code. Hi Jonathan, I'm not sure if my observation warrants an investigation or anything, but I wanted to make sure just in case. So, Reactor Core 2 has been showing some slightly odd behavior. Uh, it's nothing to worry about, but there were at least two instances this week where the output was registered at 100.04 and 100.06% above its maximum output capacity. In theory, this may happen once in a blue moon, but it happened twice already and the output as it happens is only 0.0015 above the uh, allowed threshold. Yeah, that's pretty... That sounds bad. That sounds bad. Can I get this? Oh, come on, I want to get... This would be perfect for fighting off an alien invasion. Well, yes, I would use that. Why can't... Why can't I pick it up? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna run. Because probably the android is not... Hey, I can open it, tell me. Hey, nice. Nice, we're here. Great, now I'm locked in here. Um, I guess I'll see what these control panels do. Yeah, one thing would should work. Oh, okay. System. This should open up the door where I left Mr. Android. Alright. Open. And now... Okay, security station access. Easy peasy. Easy peasy? Yeah, actually, I, I think I said that too. That's not good. And we again control it. Okay, so where am I supposed to go exactly from here? Hmm. Whoa. Wait. Oh, I'll open the door for myself. When do you visit Moscow? I've I've only once been outside of uh, Romania. I don't know. I would probably visit Moscow. I mean, I, I would like, that's for sure. <laughs> it's technically not that far from here. So what am I supposed to do exactly? Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Because I can't open this thing. Or can I? See, I can't. I can't open this. Hmm, maybe I need to do something in here? Still? Probably not though. Well, let's see, we'll just check. Okay, so nothing here, I can't do anything here. So, let's go to... not sure where. Not sure where. I mean, should I just get the hell out? Okay, reactor core 1 is 76.3%. Okay, so just reactor 2 is the one that's offline. Hmm. Alright. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do next, but still. I don't know. I wish this droid would move faster. I really wish it was faster. Oh, can I go into the lobby? Lobby? I think I can. Yes! Maybe I can open the door from here. Right? 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 right. Mainframe online. Well, that's online. That's good, right? If it's online. Oh! 
You did it. Done. Now let's bring that reactor core back online. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go here. Um, let me get this tablet quickly. Let's see what it has. Probably another report. Crew report. Let's let's hear it. What message? What message? What freaking message? Sorry. <clears throat> All right. So uh, we should be able to go to the second reactor core now. And come on. And activate it. Nice on Russian is Krasivo. What's Krasivo? What does that mean? Oh, nice in Russian is cr really? Hmm, that's a pretty long word, but that's fine, I guess. Casino. <laughs> I should use that. I, I should probably use that instead of nice. Crasivo. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That doesn't sound very Russian. All right. So let me save. Good, and now we should be able to go inside. Why is it still locked? Why is this still locked? Hello? I don't understand this. I don't get it. I do not get it. I don't understand game. Okay, uh, we need to go through the to there to reach the elevator that leads to engineering. Uh, that's where we'll find the first reactor core that we need to reset. Okay, wait. So, this is one of the reactor cores, right? Here? Hmm. That's really weird. It's like, I'm not really... Mm. Engineering. So I have to go back to engineering and I have to... But where the fudge do I reset anything? Beautiful is... Uh, Precasno. <laughs> Sobaka. Come on, that's not a very nice name for, for a dog. <laughs> uh, service train. Can't go into the service train. Okay, I'm really confused as to where the fudge am I supposed to go now. <laughs> I teach you Russian. <laughs> I'm really confused as to where the fudge I'm supposed to go. That that guy Edo should really be helping a lot more than he is. He's supposed to know the freaking ship, so why the fudge isn't he helping more? That's kind of dumb. I really have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Like, what I'm supposed to do now. It's really annoying. What the fuck is that thing down? No, this one's closed. Oh, come on. Hello. Ah, he's not doing anything. Alright, um. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, maybe I need to go to where this guy was and reset the thing, the mainframe. No, not this. No. What the fudge? Mm, maybe the door opened over there. I didn't find any. Ah, the door. Okay, so this one opened. I should have seen this one. Come on. Okay. I should have seen How this. How do we get this bad boy online? I have no clue. Bad boys, bad boys. 
I no guess clue? I'll do wow, my you're best. so helpful. Investigate. Jesus. You are so freaking helpful, guy. Jesus. All right. Pascal requests. Hi, Jake. I've... Okay, so the new code is two one two three. Okay. Two one two three. Where do I use that though? Two one two three. Two one two three. Oh, let me save. <laughs> let me save quickly. Two one two. Three. I mean, let me read that again because I'm I'm a little confused as to where I'm supposed to input that. Because it's oh here. Pending input. Oh okay. Two one two three. Ah, there we are! Inbox! Jonathan Indy! Hey Jake! Uh, Henry Corvin from Engineering sent me a report a few hours ago and I think we have to take a look at it. He, write, he writes that Reactor Core 2 has gone over the allow threshold uh, twice within a week now. If it goes beyond that, it could fry circuit, circuit boards or cause malfunctions in some of the equipment. I would not want one of the small generators to catch a fire or something. Okay, I don't see any reason to ring the alarm but just yet. However, we should do a proper inspection as soon as possible. Okay. So... Um... So, what next? Can I go inside? Can I... Huh? Okay, I can, I can activate this one. I can, you know... Alright. Look page. Okay, uh, I've written okay. up a short description. It seems Wait. I need to bring the coils back online first before I can use the reactor core interface to initialize the reactor and start the reactivation process. Okay, reactivate the core. Okay, all coils must be online. Once all coils are active, the reactor core interface will become operational. Okay, where are the coils? Like. Where, where, where are the coils? Like... Coils, alright. Activate the coil, where are the coils? I want to see your face, uh, I don't have a camera just yet. That's gonna have to wait a little bit. Are these the coils? Okay, maybe these are the coils. If these are the coils, I can't do anything to them. These, maybe? Coils. Coils, what coils? Uh, coils. Where the fudge are the coils supposed to? Oh, those two things. But how do I... Hmm. Wait. Maybe those two things at the beginning are the coils, but if those things are the coils, how do I activate them? Uh, like these, see? These two things, the coils. Control. Nope, they don't work. Dude. Can I activate them here? Nope. Coils. Coils, 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 coils by the camera. <laughs> Easy to say, right? By the camera. <laughs> uh, coils. Which one are the freaking coils? Let me see if I can see a map. Wow, that's helpful. Um. Hmm. Is see, this is really confusing as to what I'm supposed to do. Really, really confusing. Uh, what are the, well, the coil? I'm supposed to activate the coils in order to get the reactor reset, but I don't know what are the coils exactly. It's like, all right, there's just no explanation as to anything. I guess the game assumes you know what the fudge you're supposed to look for. Hmm. 
Not really sure what the hell am I supposed to find. Okay. Mm. Okay. Reactivate the generator core. All coils must be online. Where the fudge are the coils? Do I? I don't even know how they look like. I don't, okay. Um. Okay. Do I have to activate something on the other controls scheme from the other pad? I don't think so. Two, one, two, three. Nope. All right. See, this isn't helping. Like, like literally, nothing's helping here. Cause it's like the map doesn't show you anything. Coils. What the fuck are the coils? Where are they? One. First of all, I don't know where they are. Second, I don't know how they look like. You know. So that's really helpful. I would guess that these are... Uh, does it say anything here? Control room? Coil? Generator room? No. Uh, see, they're, they're really glowing, so I'm thinking maybe this... But no, that's not it. It's really weird. It's, it's really, really odd. It's like... Uh, control room. Control, control, control. Nothing from here. Come on. Nothing from here. So that's not it either. So I need to go back somewhere. But it, you know, the, the, they're not explained. How they look like, what they are, how do you activate them? Like, is it, you know, it's really odd. Really, really freaking odd. System and complete. So that's not it either. Do I have to go all the way back? Do I... I don't know. Um... Are these the coils? I mean, are these, I don't know what the fudge they are. I mean, they have an input, but I can't use them. So that's not it. Maybe I need to go back? Hmm, it's really confusing. It's um... No more what the fuck. <laughs> Why? Don't like cursing? Uh, how do I... See, the thing is, I don't want to go all the way back. But I don't even know like where to look. Coils. What do they look like? I mean, where are they? That's another thing. That's locked. Coils, 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 coils. Wow. Uh, Seriously, this game just assumes... I, I, I really don't understand. I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. Offices. I don't think I have to go back to the office, though. I need a walkthrough. Next deck. I need a freaking walkthrough. Um, Because it's like... Nothing is explained! And again, that guy that's supposed to know stuff about the ship... Doesn't help me at all. I mean, come on. Why does he know? Medbay, engineering. No, that I don't think I have to go all the way back. Okay. Um Right. Mainframe control. Like I'm actually trying to figure out how the fudge. Oh, I think I'll need to get the, that droid to activate this thing, and me to activate. And it's okay. It's just it's just really odd. It's like it tells me to do something, but it's a very vague thing. 
and it just assumes that I know that I'm what I'm looking for. It's really, I mean, is everything on the same deck? Do I have to go back? I, it's like, can I ask? I have a companion with me that's supposed to know something about the ship, but I can't communicate with him exactly. It's like, it would be helpful to, you know, just to ask some questions of him. This is really odd. It's like, not freaking helping at all. I, I, I really don't understand this. This I mean, maybe it's a puzzle? I have to figure out where the coils are? I mean, the map isn't helping at all. The map doesn't show anything. It's like... Alright, map. Hmm. So... And why is that thing down? That's another bug, by the way. Reactor core. Reactor core. Reactor core. I'm, I'm looking like for, I don't know, some, some things written on... Control room, generator room... Reactor core... Are these the coils? These things? Well, they don't look like anything that I can actually interact with. Coil, coil, what the fudge are the coils? Where are they? How do they look like? Like, Jesus. Okay. Hmm. What the hell? I can't jump in there. I wish I could jump. Ah. Uh, okay. Current. Okay. Sure, reactivate the generator core. All the codes must be online. Once all the codes are active, the reactor core interface will become operational. I hope this will come in handy. No, it doesn't come in handy. Hmm. It doesn't come in handy at all. I uh, use the interface to initialize all coils. How do the freaking coils look like? What are the coils? Jesus, this game assumes way too much of you. Are these the things? Because they, they're really glowy, and I, I kind of think that I'm supposed to do something with them. But they don't do anything. Restore power to both generators. Oh, this is really crap. This is really crap. Coil. What the fudge are the coils? Oh my god, seriously. Lobby security station. So, I don't have to do anything with the lobby. But he I'm thinking there's something here, but which ones? Hmm. Okay, this is <laughs> sorry for oh come on, that's fine. You can talk, it's fine. Is this something? I don't even like. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be. This see this one, I can't do anything to. So they're not online, I guess. Hmm. I, I, I'm thinking that I have to, I'm, I'm supposed to, uh, like, use my, uh, wait. Coils.
Huh. Yeah, this is this is really freaking odd. I it, it, it's really odd. I really don't understand it. How would I interface with this guy again? I have no idea what I'm doing all the live long day. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Uh, and look at this, like, this is supposed to be helpful, like, the objective is shit. Like, the text in here is total shit. Right, doesn't help at all. The log, not even, that, not, not at all, doesn't help at all either. Objective. Gotta head to the elevator that leads to the offices. We need to go through there to reach the elevator that leads to engineering. That's the first. But this is engineering, right? This is engineering. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is engineering. Uh, maybe I'm not. Uh, look, always Android area. Lobby. So I can't control anything. But no, this is engineering. This is where the core is. One of the cores. Okay. Can't go in the service train. But this is engineering. This was engineering, so I think. I don't get it. I I I'm 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 really at a loss. I'm really at a freaking loss here. Yeah. So I'm supposed to be in engineering. Wow, that's really crap. Coils. Jesus, freaking coils. Um. So this is going back. Um. Oh, that, I, I gotta say, this is really crap. It's like... No explanation. I have that guy that downloaded itself, but he's not helping almost at all. Me yeah, and I have to be in engineering. Power grid. Maybe it's a bug? Maybe there's a bug that I'm missing? Uh... Do you are horse? What do you mean horse? That that does not make any sense. I am not the horse, of course, of course. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. This is problematic. This is problematic. I had high hopes for this chapter, and. And there is something very, very wrong. Very, very, very wrong. Very, very wrong in here. <laughs> I like how that didn't freaking help. I was like, oh, uh, the other codes must be online. Okay, where are those? It's like, I hope this helps. No, it doesn't. It freaking doesn't. I wish I could jump off from here and like hurt my legs and and um, oh he has a pad too. Okay, this is this is really crap. I gotta say this is really crap. Maybe I found maybe there's a bug that prevents me from going somewhere. But that's the thing, it's like, I don't even know what I'm looking for. That's the problem. 
you go drink. Okay, uh, have a nice drink. Coil, coil. What the f fudge are the coils? Coil. What the f these coils? They're not coils. These aren't coils. Coils, coils, coils. How the fudge? Oh, they're done. Oh, come on. Are you shitting me right now? There's something back here. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. You can't even see this shit. I thought it was like just a... Oh, come on. Are you shitting me right now? Look at this crap. It was all down here. It's like you can't even sh see shit. You think like, oh, it's just like a... Just... You know, it's just like a, uh, a circle around here and nothing else. That is so shit. See, that's the problem with things that are too fucking shiny and perfect looking. They're, first of all, they're unrealistic. Second of all, it, you, you you glance over them because there's nothing of... There's, there's no character to them. That's the freaking problem. Jesus freaking... Come on. This is unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. On freaking believable. Jesus, can't even. How the, seriously? Who the fudge puts things like that are like down here? Jesus freaking. You're almost there, Aaron. Everything is at that level, and no, but these controls have to be lower. You have to go on the freaking stairs. Who the fudge would make this like this? It makes no freaking sense. Anyway. Jesus, anyway. Alright. Override. So where are we going now? Whoa, I've never seen a reactor core like this. Oh. Oh, it's like the Event Horizon! It actually looks like very much like the Event Horizon thing. It's just not as... Um, uh, spiky. That had spikes. That is... amazing! I wish John could see this. Unbelievable, this seriously. Stuff. You can show him once we're done. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more interesting stuff ahead. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's head to the service train then. We need uh, to get to the cargo fine. area, right? That's right. Finally. Jesus. Freaking, it was right there. Jesus. I'm going through some of the data. The reactor core is uh, putting out more power than it should. Uh, how bad is it? I don't care. I'm no engineer, but it's a low percentage. It should be fine. Let's just yeah, I really don't care about it. I really don't care about the, the point. For 0.04% that it outputs more. Come on, really? You really care about 0.4, 0.6%? Why is it warning? Jesus. Did you hear? Oh, that's not good. Oh, crap, what was that? I have no uh, idea. I'm looking at the internal systems network, but everything looks fine. Maybe an asteroid something hit the happened. hole or something. Maybe not. Well, we're almost there. I can't believe there's an actual service train on board this ship. The star drop ship. is way larger. Aaron, watch out! Ah! Aaron, I'm taking a whole bunch of. Aaron, ah! come on! Oh, come on, I'm fine, I'm outside, I can My my Aaron, partner can pick me up. Edo! Edo! Your heart rate is too fast. John! Communicate Somebody! with John! He's out. you're Edo! outside, there's no interference. Edo! Talk with John, talk I to I'm John! Fuck, John! I don't. John's here. I, I don't know what to do. Is anyone there? John should be around with the ship. He's looking for you. You can talk to him. There's no interference anymore. Hello? Aaron? Is that the chapter? Okay, okay, so that was the chapter. I, I, okay. I was, okay. Um, so I, I was thinking it would end in a cliffhanger, I just didn't think that it would end like at that point in time. Um, but yeah, alright. So, the problem that I have, um, not so much uh, the, the explaining part. 
I mean, given the fact that you have a freaking consciousness of a really smart person with you at all times, you would think that he would be more helpful, but he's not very helpful. Uh, at least when I needed him to be helpful. So um, that was um, that that that's one of the issues. And also, I found that that bug, which you know, if you if you play a chapter and you find certain logs and then you start the chapter again the logs that you found previously will be in your in your data pad although they shouldn't be there they should be outside so you can find them again so that's a bug but um yeah that's an interesting cliffhanger i'm thinking that john will find me because he's around I, sh I know he's around right so uh, something happened i don't know what the, uh, an airlock blew up i'm not sure what the heck happened right but there was an explosion, I'm outside, you know, I'm floating around, but he has the ship, John has the ship, and, you know, uh, uh, our ship is pretty, well, it's it's a, it's more, it's smaller, so it's more um, easier to maneuver, and he's looking for me, so, and an explosion would be pretty freaking obvious if he's looking, so he sh I should be fine. He'll, he'll rescue me, and then I'll uh, thank him, and this, this, see, exactly, see, ah, I, I, now I get it. So this... Uh, event where I get hurt and John rescues me in, in, in the nick of time and he uh, you know nurses me back to hell this is where our friendship turns into romance and we make love and we have a daughter and that's well those are chapter four uh, four and five well chapter four it's you know um, you know having the first feelings and then chapter five is uh, bringing the star drop and all of its data back to Earth and you know announcing our engagement, something like that. But that's probably I'm 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 thinking that's probably going, what's going to happen in startup. Now everyone uh, that was uh, again startup. Um, I uh, I really didn't like the fact that those freaking controls were so not like why would they be anyway? It's weird. It to me it's weird. I mean I went everywhere. And I just couldn't see that there's some freaking stairs down where I wouldn't have thought that there would be any stairs because it makes no sense. But okay, um, that was weird. That was a weird thing, but you know, for the most part, uh, I like that I didn't have to, uh, you know, avoid any droids. I like that I had I had to control a droid, which I think is really cool. And I think I'm thinking. That I'll have to control one of the droids again in order to open um, one of the security doors, some one of the shields. So I'll be at one point where you know we're on one terminal where I can um, do some stuff, and then I'll have to go like really quickly and control the an, uh, an android uh, on another ter terminal. So we activate uh, two things almost at the same time. Well, I I'm thinking that's that's something that's going to be uh, the case. But um, yeah, we'll have to see when chapter 4 comes out. Um, you know, when chapter 4 comes out, probably expect a live stream. Probably expect a new live stream. Now, if you want to play Startup, you know, from the beginning, all the first three chapters, if you want to play uh, the um, SRO missions, yes. Oh, I'm not... Oh, you're just going to go in the ship and then you're going to choose the SRO mission, right? I believe that's uh, right. So if you, you want to play the um, SRO being salvage and rescue operations, basically, that's what it means because that's what you do. Uh, and you can choose here and there are, well, uh, two available apparently. Maintenance, the, uh, the Odyssey 101 and Echoes. And I believe we've made, we've played... Well, I played Echoes during the, my previous live stream of uh, Startup, so if you want to see that, you know, just check out the live stream. If you don't want to see it, if you want to play it, then, you know, Startup is available right now at 9.95, uh, 17% off its uh, base price tag of um, 11.99. Visually, I think it looks pretty good. Way too shiny, way too shiny, way too shiny, ab abnormally shiny. I mean, very nice as a showcase, as a game, it's not very realistic in terms of how how it looks. Because it looks too perfect. You know, it's like, it's like way, way too perfect. Um, although the lighting is... Actually, no, it doesn't look too perfect. It looks too... Too... How would I say it? Um, like it just came out of 3D Studio Max or Maya. And it's like, okay, 
we just need to add some texture, some stuff on it, some some you know shaders and stuff. And it's, it, I kind of feel like it's it's missing those things that make you know a material, an object look you know more realistic. And um, yeah, and more interaction would be nice. That's 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 always that's something that I would always like. And see, look at the lighting here. I can't I can't even read what the books say because the lighting you know reflects uh, so much and it's way too much. Debra War? Okay, everyone that was started up, thanks so much for watching, uh, for being here with me. If you like this live stream, please, please, please give it a thumbs up because that will mean a lot. It will help, um, you know, spread the word. YouTube would hopefully, hopefully spread the word because, you know, I'm, I, I try to be, well, PC around here. Not, not very PC, actually, I don't really care about that. But, um,. It's about gaming, so it's, if it's about gaming, hopefully it will spread the word. Uh, but uh, yeah, just just like just like it. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, um, I guess dislike it or don't do anything. Maybe now, everyone, uh, if you want to see uh, more content, please check out the channel. You can subscribe also to you know the to get notified. Um, you know when I go live, when I do uh, other things, when I post. And uh, yeah, if you wanna, ooh, she's already tired. If you wanna support me uh, at no cost to you, but financially, uh, then please use the Amazon links in the description below. Whenever you want to buy something from Amazon, you know, just give those links to friends, family, and every time you know there's a purchase made, a small percentage would hopefully reach my neck of the woods. Uh, it's again at no cost to you. Items don't cost more if you use the the affiliate link. It just on the faded link. Thanks again everyone for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow for a new live stream. Not really sure what to live stream, but yeah, we'll find it. We'll find something good. We'll find something good. Thanks again everyone for watching and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day.